Hello, and welcome to Git Power Routines, um, a course that will teach you uh, power routines of experienced Git users. It should last about one and a half hours. Um, my name is Nicola Paulucci. I am a developer advocate at Atlassian, where my job is to share my enthusiasm for you know, cool new technologies, best practices to help teams work better together, and, and tricks, and development tricks. I got very excited about Git a few years ago and have been talking about it uh, ever since. So generally, I talk about workflows and how you collaborate around code and which branching model you should adopt and how teams can work better using Git. And in this specific session, I, I want to do something different. So I want to show you the, the daily tricks and command lines, commands that experienced Git users use daily and then maybe you know average git users don't haven't learned yet how to use and um, so we we'll try simple daily version control tasks and i show you some of the best ways to solve you know the challenges and the tasks that come up as you as you, as you code the daily that's the premise you might want to see you know just to give you a, a sense of what we'll cover in this one and a half hour together and um, it's, 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 a, it's a common thing that happens every time you code, where sometimes you have to undo the things you just did. So Git, as you might, may or might not know, gives you uh, 10 different ways, 20 different ways to undo work. And so which one should, should you use? And which one is more convenient? And, and, and in which case would you use a, a different reset compared to an amend? So that's what I want to show you. And maybe debunk in the myth that this is stuff is complicated. Then I want to show you a slightly more advanced example of um, that's something like somebody committed an ISO of 600 megs three days ago, and now the entire team is downloading this massive file, and you'd like to remove it. I show you how you could do it using an interactive rebase. Then I uh, will try to resolve a conflict together, uh, doing it the, the you know most low level way possible, just looking at conflict markers and show you what the the, the normal command line process for solving a, pro a conflict is. Now I'll show you uh, merge strategies. We'll talk a little bit about different merge strategies than the default one, and uh, with a focus on give you an example on uh, different merge strategy, the hours merge strategy, and where in which situations that might be useful for you. And then we'll do a session on interactive commits, interactive adding to the, to the staging area, which is a pretty powerful thing I do every day, but maybe you don't do yet, so I want to teach it to you. And if there's time, we're going to talk about the stash and how it can help you, you know, switch context really fast and we'll work through together an example. So that's high level what we go through. I have a, a still a few things to say before we start. If you, you, you probably should have received an email from me we did just very quick instructions on what to do to be ready to follow along. This session will not be interactive, otherwise it will, would last four hours, but you, you, you are welcome to follow along, clone this repo, and try to do the same task as I work through them. If you're already experienced with those, you can beat me to the tasks or suggest alternative way to, ways to do things. Otherwise, you can just follow along, clone the repo, and, 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 and listen to me. So that's the rep we need to, uh, to clone. You most likely have already done it. I leave it just a few more seconds. So it's on bitbucket.org. My name is Nicola Paolucci, so call on Nicola Paolucci. And the name of the repo, you can just go at that address. You will see a list of repos. This one specifically is called Star Wars Summary, and I'll explain you why in a second. So a note about the project. So we're talking about, I need to show you low-level commands of Git and teach you like daily routines that we all do. If I added on top of that um, complex Java classes to you know, solve conflicts on or a different programming language that you're not familiar with, that would add a little bit of complexity that maybe is not required for this workshop. So I picked an as example project. I don't know if you guys know, but the new Star Wars uh, movie is coming out at the end of the year. I thought, OK, let's, let's start a sample project that we all can relate to. It's the summaries of the Star Wars trilogy. It's a trivial example just, just to give us a repository to work on. So don't get too caught up with the actual files and what they contain. And if you haven't seen this parody, they put together the trailer, <laughs> Star Wars trailer, 
and uh, at least on Interstellar, you are missing out.